my name's Adam Chapman. Um, I've lived in London my entire life. I, I would say London, for what most gay men look for, is pretty stagnant. From a gay man's perspective in London, there's only so many options you have to meet people, get involved, um, and there's also, I wouldn't say necessarily cliques, but there's just groups that you don't always run into if you just stick to one thing. A lot of people have sort of separated themselves. Adam is trying to change that, working to create a stronger gay community in the city. And he isn't doing it alone. Each week, this group of roughly 30 men come together at a local school to play volleyball. They vary in age and skill, but for most of them, it's not really about that. Created more than 18 years ago, the event gives them a chance to be themselves and meet gay men with similar interests. Nuno DeMello has taken over as the league's main organizer. Despite over 15 years of involvement, he still enjoys attending for the same reasons. During the week, there's a lot of things to do in London. So it was a way just to get people together to, to, um, just to do something social outside of a, a bar environment um, for a few hours, you know, for the winter. For guys like Adam, it provides a much needed social experience. Playing volleyball is not the only reason these guys meet up each week. After the game, they head to a local restaurant to continue the fun. Here at Krabby Joe's, the men come together to hang out and grab some post-game food. For Adam, the night offers a chance to bring the gay community in London closer together, unifying what Adam calls a disparate group. I, I think there's a fairly decent community out there. The problem is, is it's so segregated, no one really meets in one specific area. I mean, there's the bar for sure, but there's so many other groups that you don't even realize that have been in London for a long, long time. Chad Callender works with the Pride London organization. He says that while events like the Pride Festival work to bring the gay community together, they often struggle to create year-round programming. For Chad, activities like volleyball help to fill the gap, but more importantly, they work to normalize the gay community. It just goes to show that we're people just like everybody else. We like to do things that everybody else does, and uh, we're equally contributing members of society. The league has nearly doubled since Adam joined in at the table. It has grown too large to accommodate the increasing demand. Adam is now working on finding a double gym so that more men will be able to partake in the fun. Drew Crawford, Western News.